TimDillonComedy.com. We have a lot of <laughs> we have we have a lot of great uh, a lot of great opportunities for you. We're launching our jewelry line very soon. We can go door to door and kind of get people involved in low cost, highly made jewelry. Uh, we have a twelve point plan. We'll be sending out to you about how to sell that, how to enrich yourselves, your friends, and your family. Uh, it's all about multiple revenue streams right now. You don't need a brick and mortar office, but you need guidance from a proven and tested sales team led by someone with a vision. And that will be me. We'll be talking about that. Uh, people, people that don't know you and are threatened by you will call it a Ponzi scheme or they'll call it multi-level marketing. They'll say that we're taking advantage of you. Uh, they will say that it's not a real job, that it is clearly fraud. Um, it is those people are scared of you and they don't want to see you do well. So we're very excited to kind of introduce our new jewelry line of watches, earrings. And it's going to go like this. Like you knock on someone's door and you go, hi, hello, got to dress nice. Look like a jeweler. Look like somebody would buy jewelry from because you're selling jewelry door to door. Low cost, highly made jewelry that can resell. They can, if times are tough, they can boil it down. They can melt it down. Um, but it's going to really enrich their lives. So what you do is you knock on the door and you say, hi, let's just say your name is Carol. Hi, my name is Carol. And I'm with, uh, Dylan Jules. Would you, would you, would you have any, a, a few minutes? Hey, they're going to start to shut the door in your face. So you, the first line's got to be very important. So you could, do you have any time today to discuss low cost, well-made jewelry? We want to get you on in a plan, on a plan, in a plan. Hey, we want to get you, look, look him in the eye. Hi, my name is Carol. I'm from Dylan Jewels. Do you have a little time today? And that's good if you do a high voice. You go, do you, have a little, do you have a little time today to talk about low cost, highly made? No, wait, hold on. <laughs> low cost, well-made jewelry from... From podcaster Tim Dillon. <laughs> podcaster Tim Dillon has had a passion for jewelry his entire life. He goes and buys these stones at the Diamond District. He cuts them himself. He supervises it while other people do the stone cutting. And we get him out to you for low cost, low money. And what you can do is then you can start selling these to your friends and family. We want the jewels to go to you and we want you to bring the jewels to your friends and family. And we were going to call it run the jewels and then we got sued. But that's where what we want. So you're going to have to learn how to sell because it's not a, that is a, a little bit of a rough sell knocking on someone's door, trying to talk to them about jewelry. So what do you do for a living? If you ever thought about selling jewelry, if you ever thought about creating opportunities for yourself and your family? Well, how about creating opportunities for yourself and your family with low cost, <laughs> low cost, well-made jewelry from podcaster Tim Dillon? Do you feel, do you feel, do you feel like sometimes your job, you're boxed in or you hit a ceiling? Do you not want to feel like that? Do, is 2020 going to be your year or not? Maybe that's the entrance point. You look at them and go, Hey, let me ask you a question. You're on the doorstep. Is 2020 going to be your year? And if they say no, go, why not? And if they say yes, say why? And here's the thing. You have the same. Here's what you you have a, you have an ace in the hole because the answer to this question is the same, no matter what they say. And it's jewels. They have to sell jewelry. You have to tell them that. No matter what happens. They go, it's not my year. It's, well, you're not selling jewelry. It is my year. And you go, nope. You got to sell jewels by Dylan. And you say to them, have you ever heard of multi-level marketing? It's very different than a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> say that right away. Say that right away because they need to know that what you're doing is different than what other people do. Go, I'm not here to sell anything to you. That's another one you do. Go, I'm not here to sell anything to you. What I'm here to do is get you involved in an opportunity. And the opportunity is actually to just create opportunities for your family and friend with 
a line of jewelry that you will sell door to door for Dylan Jules. That's all. So we're very excited about that. That's rolling out. And then if you're interested in that, we have a course that we're going to give at the Scottsdale Marriott. And the course is $7,800, but it includes four days breakfast and nonstop seminars where we introduce you to the jewelry and about selling the jewelry. And we talk about a lot of things that are going to be essential if you want to create opportunities. Because that's the business we're in. It's the, the, the creating of opportunities. So seventy eight hundred dollars. You could you could you could you could finance it, charge it, take out a credit card, put that AGs on the card, put it on the card. Do you think Warren Buffett would be where he is today if he didn't do everything he could to go to a seminar in the Scottsdale Marriott about selling jewelry? <laughs> By the way, as I do this as a joke. I, I, some of you are so stupid that I'm, I'm doing myself a disservice by not ripping you off more. You know what I mean? Like what Gary Vee and all of them have realized about the planet is that many of you don't deserve to not be robbed. That's what Gary's real. He's like, no, rob. They're, they, they're there to be robbed. They're that dumb. Just take it from them. TimDillaComedy.com for all our dates that are coming up. Please come to the shows. They're very fun. Tim J. Dillon, D-I-L-L-O-N on Instagram, Twitter. Follow. Tell your friends about the show. We got a lot of live events coming up. We're all over the place. Please. This is going to be our year. Not because of comedy. We don't really care about that. But because <laughs> of the jewel business that we are starting. And I want you to take it seriously. This is not a joke. There is a mailing list on my website. Sign up for that mailing list. It says we're going to alert you about live shows and stuff. Here's what's really going to happen. We're going to give you the ammunition. Well, that was we decided that wasn't a good word because of all the school training. We're going to give you the resources to create opportunities for your friends and your family by selling high high quality low cost jewelry <laughs> door to door or in your office until they threaten to fire you because that will happen because they're player haters <laughs> they are player haters wherever you work but before they do you set up a little kiosk at Applebee's right on the bar now the manager's going to come up to you at Applebee's and he's going to go <laughs> Why do you have all these turquoise necklaces on the bar? And you go, have you heard uh, uh, Dylan Jewels by Dylan by podcaster Tim Dylan? I'm so and he's gonna go. You can't do that here. You can't do that here. You cannot sling turquoise jewelry from this Applebee's. And you say it is low cost, <laughs> high quality jewelry. Just right in his face. High cost, low. <laughs> See, I fucked it up again. I said high cost, low quality. That's it's that is the hardest thing about this. Is to not <laughs> the hardest thing about it is to not say high cost, low quality. Because then then even though you can laugh it off, people are still gonna believe that that's the case. <laughs> so what you have to do is say low cost, high quality. You gotta practice it in the mirror. Low cost, high quality. Low cost, high quality. And if your kids or your wife get in your face while you're doing this, you, 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 I'm not saying hit them, but mush them, shove them, get them out of there. Low cost, high quality. Low cost, high quality. And that's what he says to you. You cannot sell jewelry like this at this island burgers and shakes that you work at. You go, hey, it's low cost, high quality. I'm just creating opportunities for people. So that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get out of this. We're trying to get a merch game. And I don't, I don't want to just do standard merch. I want you guys to follow me into a pit. And I think the, be the best way to do <laughs> the best way to do that, what is everybody like? Jewelry. But what's the problem with jewelry? Oftentimes, what is it? High costs, low quality. We've solved that. Because this is 
high quality, <laughs> low cost. And what's the other problem, Drew? You got to go get it or wait for someone to love you enough to give it to you. Eh, not going to happen. Ladies watching Lifetime, you get your own jewels. Effa. So what you have to do is in your own home, you can have little parties like Tupperware parties where you get a bunch of your single women friends together and go, the reason that nobody fucks us and loves us is because we don't have high quality, low cost jewelry on ourselves at all times. And if we did, we would look better and we'd be able to, you know, enrich yourself or your friends. Like, for example, let's say I'm having lunch. Ben doesn't have a mic out for himself, but it doesn't matter. You can imagine Ben and me are having lunch. I haven't seen Ben in a while because this is the thing. You, you, your friends are your, your business base. They are the people you're going to sell to. Your family are the people you're going to sell to. So I haven't seen Ben in a while. I request him on Facebook. We haven't seen each other in 10 years. Now we're going to go out to a lunch. I'm going to sell him the jewelry. Listen to this. We are now at lunch. Where, where would we be having lunch? Maybe we're at Panera Bread. Okay. Hey, Ben, good to catch up with you. Hey, I haven't seen you in so long, man. It's been a very long time. What have you been up to? Not much. Just podcasting out here. You know, just living in LA. Where did you go? You go back to New York? What are you doing? What are you up to? Okay, none of that would happen. Okay, so Ben, Ben is already saying things that won't happen. That's not what's going to happen. Here's what will happen. I'm going to be the person sitting there. Ben's going to be me because he can't even handle doing the part of the buyer. That's not how people talk. I'm in LA. You're in New York. No one talks like that. This fucking elitist cunt. Now, you're now me. I'm the bu- I'm the buyer. Okay. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Ben. Do you want to buy some jewelry? No, you don't start like that. You have to just say hello first. Establish rapport. Build rapport. Hey, man. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. It's very good to see you. I'm looking into creating opportunities for myself and my family. Sometimes it's as if I don't have anywhere to turn. Do you think, is there any potential avenue you see to me making any profit in 2020? Even in, I like direct to market sales. I have a great persona and personality and have a large network of family and friends that's ever expanding. I would like to take advantage of that network and sell them Things, maybe jewelry. Do you have any ideas? Well, have you heard of podcaster Tim Dillon's jewelry? We we sell it at a low cost, high quality. Whoa! It, the jewelry is high quality, but it is low cost. So I don't have to spend a lot of money to give my friends and family something that is very beautiful. Is that correct? That's correct. Good. Is there a seminar where I could learn about this jewelry? I will spend up to $10,000 on this seminar. How much is the seminar? <laughs> it's $5,000. I am so happy. I may take it now twice. Is it in Arizona at the Scottsdale Marriott? That's right. Very good. Well, this was a good lunch. I don't want to waste any more time eating at Panera because I want to start booking tickets to go to the Marriott so I can sell jewelry for podcaster Tim Dillon because he's sick of comedy and everyone in it. So he wants to just rip people off now because he's the idiot that isn't. He's the one person who's not hitting people in the head with a shovel. And they're mad about it. They go, why aren't you hitting me in the head with a shovel? My head is here and there's a shovel. Get to work. Goodbye, folks. You know, if you if you need, go get a potato and put a Marlboro Light in its mouth and watch that and then press play on your phone.